in our control application the poles and zeros are very important for our control application problem so what is poles and what is zeros so the poles is very simple if here a transfer function is given so this is our transfer function over here this is our transfer function which is cs by rs and in the right hand side a uh, polynomial is been given over there okay so what is the zeros zeros means uh, if the transfer function or in uh, uh, in short uh, the gs of our expression is tends to zero so what that means we are meaning that if the gs the gs is equal to zero which actually means the upper expression of these terms are always zero which actually gives us the point s plus z1 is equal to zero s plus z2 is equal to zero and lastly a s square plus v s plus c which is equal to zero and our point is nothing but s is equal to minus z1 for this solution s is equal to minus z2 and this one is very simple the equation is minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so these three points s is equal to minus z1 s is equal to minus z2 and s is equal to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a are our zeros from our transfer function analysis so what is zeros zeros means for any type of transfer function analogy if you take the uh, or if you take our numerator portion as zero then we have got or in total if we concentrated that if we concentrate that the G, gs is zero or our transfer function is zero would actually gives us the zero points or zero solution in our transfer function analysis so the next thing is what is poles the pole is very very simple i will erase this so what is the exact method to find out the poles of our transfer function i have uh, found the zero already okay so what is the method to find out the poles the poles is if the gs is uh, say 1 by 0 which actually gives us the infinity if for the denominator part if you take the zero that actually gives us the solution of this transfer function as it uh, it will goes or it will tends to infinity okay so the solution is s plus p1 is equal to 0 and uh, by this one uh, for this one s plus p2 is equal to 0 and the last one is a s square plus v s plus c is equal to 0 so by this solution we have got the first pole points which is minus p1 the second one is s is equal to minus p2 and the last one is by using the equation of this quadratic equation we have got uh, minus b square b plus minus of b square minus 4ac by 2a so these three points this one this one this one are our poles are formed or poles are find out by this equation so this is our basic method in order to find out the poles or zeros from our transfer function i want to repeat this method once again that first one if you take the gs as zero if you take the gs as directly is equal to zero which actually gives us the point of zeros and if you take the 1 by 0 which actually gives us the infinity solution 
and uh, it actually gives us our poles of our transform function. So this is all about our poles and zeros. And lastly, I have an example which is very very important to to give us the basic idea about how do you put the or how do you use the poles and zeros in our control application so this is our given equation and this is our example so what are the uh, poles over here the poles is very simple if you take gs as 1 by 0 which actually gives us the infinity so uh, put the lower part is equal to 0 so s is equal to 0 is our first point the next part is s plus 2 is equal to 0 which actually gives s is equal to minus 2 and the last part was s plus 4 square is equal to 0 and s is equal to minus 4 minus 4 as the two points are coincided over here that is why these type of points are called multiple poles what does that mean multiple poles multiple poles okay and as these points are differentiated uh, by our value as these two points are in a, in at a different value that is why these are called simple poles simple poles okay so as the poles points are given 0 and minus 2 are situated at a different point that is why these are called our simple poles but here the because of this square we have got that these two poles are um, at the same point or in a repetitive repetitive nature that is why these type of poles are called multiple poles so this is our method to find out the poles and lastly to find out the zeros we have got only one one point this equation which is the s plus 3 is equal to 0 uh, and our final solution is s minus 3 ok so our points are our pole multiple poles are minus 4 minus 4 and first simple poles are minus 2 the, uh, and uh, another one is 0 and our 0 point is minus 3 ok so how do you make this type of or uh, how do you uh, identify or to point out the co at the coordinate system that is our method so s means sigma plus of j omega sigma means our real part and omega means our imaginary part so for the coordination system so this one is our sigma and this one is plus j plus j omega and this one is minus j omega and this one is minus sigma okay so what are our poles and zeros the poles are zero at zero point so this is our poles this point is zero and the next one is minus two this one is minus one this one is minus two so this is our next pole and the last one is so this uh, is being pointed over there and that is being pointed over here also the last one is minus 4 minus 4 and this one is minus 3 and this one is minus 4 as here the two repetitive points are here that is why this is called multiple poles I have mentioned over here that this is called multiple poles and uh, minus 2 or minus 0 are our another or uh, rather pole points over there and the zero point is very simple zero point is minus three so here i like to mention you that, that that this is our zeros of our system so this is all about my poles and zeros of uh, our control system hope uh, you understand hope you have uh, perfectly understood the 
special idea about poles and zeros if you don't understand it please let me know in the comment section below and like my video and lastly i want to say that please do subscribe my channel so this is all about my total analogy or total concept or about our poles and zeros so thank you and goodbye